Well, howdy, physics sleuths and inquisitive souls. Welcome again to Dynamic Gravity. So, there's been a lot of waves in the world of uh, astrophysics this last month. Uh, basically, there's been the discovery uh, that there is correlation between uh, black holes and their size with the expansion of the universe, you know, dark energy. Um, and uh, they did a really good job of uh, correlating the two uh, in the, the, the papers that they had um, released, but they have no clue as to why this is, like zero. <laughs> Unfortunately... This is impossible, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity. Um, it, there is no mechanism built into general relativity that can explain the expansion of the universe or dark energy. It doesn't exist. Einstein added uh, lambda, the cosmological constant, but it's just a metric. There's nothing to go with that. So everybody's at a complete loss here. <laughs> and um, they don't know how this can be. But, but if you are a believer in dynamic gravity like I am, this is obvious. This is common sense of what to expect. We know exactly how this is going on, what is going on here. We can even calculate it with our math. Um, I have other videos that, that show how the math is done. Um, if you would like to learn... Uh, if you if you're new here, you don't know much about dynamic gravity. I highly encourage you to uh, look at the paper that I'll uh, uh, post in the uh, description of this video and all my videos. And uh, I assure you, after reading that, you'll have a very good understanding of what gravity is, and you can will be able to calculate many many things that no one else on this planet can right now. Just the way it is. <laughs> but um, yeah. So, you know, this is making a bunch of headlines, you know, first observational evidence linking black holes to dark energy, you know, and they go on to, to say that, you know, they, they you know, uh, look back at very old, um, you know, um, galaxies and, and how they grew and how they grew apart and their red shifts. And, uh, yeah, they, they found a correlation there between basically the larger the galactic black hole and the galaxy, um, the more inclined it was to, you know, be subjected to dark energy. <laughs> and um, also, there's another finding they found in this as well, um, which is that uh, black holes – are growing faster than we can explain. Um, now, obviously, dark energy, I can explain. I can calculate it. You're damn right I can explain it. You're damn right. <laughs> um, now, to the issue of black holes growing faster than they should, yes, I understand that as well, too. Um this is something that I had to create years ago once I realized the Big Bang was false and never happened uh, because dynamic gravity is impossible for a Big Bang to occur. So I had to rework the entire origins of the universe. And yes, I have figured out exactly how this happens. Um, I'm not completely done with my research yet, but I've got the majority of the bulk of it done. Um, I will, you know, publish this on YouTube. Like I do all my my information uh, soon. Uh, look for that video. Probably another couple months. Um, I got other things on the pipe I want to push down first, but it'd be what it'd be. <laughs> so um, here's the actual papers they submitted. Here's the one uh, uh, saying that the evidence for the cosmological coupling of black holes is impl implications for an astrological source of dark energy. <laughs> so, yeah, they basically just say, hey, look, uh, we looked at the, the you know, um, the redshift of all of these, you know, galaxies and stuff and looked at how large, you know, the black holes were, which is hard to do. It's hard to estimate 
the size of a galactic black hole or any black hole for that matter because you can't see them. You can only see things around them. And then you have to extrapolate and, and guess at a lot of things to, to figure out the size. But yeah, you can come with a reasonably large number pretty easily. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. And, and they say that, you know, um, we... Uh, damn it. Oh, baby. We thus propose that stellar remnant black holes are the astrophysical origin of dark energy. <coughs> Explain the onset of the acceleration expansion at Z equals 0.7. So, yeah, this, this whole big paper that they wrote um, is just basically them uh, doing a bunch of measurements and I think elliptical galaxies where, like I said, they, they can see a, a definite correlation between the the growing of size of mass of black holes and the amount of dark energy that is put out into the universe. <laughs> but they really don't have any explanation for this because Einstein's general theory of relativity, this is kind of impossible. It doesn't exist. There's no there's no way this can happen. There's no mechanism it can happen through, at least that's for damn sure. According to Einstein which is why he's wrong. <laughs> um, and so uh, I, I think they, they mentioned, well, maybe this could have something to do with, like, I don't know, uh, uh, implosion shock waves when black holes are created, creating negative energy and vacuum energy and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, uh, they're, they're reaching deep. They know they are. They're not even really trying that hard to, to explain this because they know that there is no mechanism to explain this and, and Einstein's general theory of relativity. <laughs> However, with my theory of dynamic gravity, you know, anti-gravity is baked in to the very core of gravity itself. You can't have one without the other. They're both one and the same. They just manifest in different ways in different, you know, circumstances. So uh, this is just, uh, you know, proof uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt. I don't say beyond a shadow of a doubt, but it's, it's definitely hardcore proof that I'm right. Um, I'm not full of shit, guys. I'm not some crazy guy who thinks he's, you know, really smart but really stupid. Um, I have a degree in physics and math, dude, and I spent my entire lifetime thinking about this nonstop. Um, good luck finding someone who can explain it better to you than me, who knows it better than me. Um, you're not. You're just not. It's the way it is. Um, and we go to their second paper here, uh, Parietal Growth Channel for Supermassive Black Holes and Elliptical Galaxies. <laughs> yeah, so they're basically here just saying that, listen, um, according to the redshift and the other stuff we looked at, um, <laughs> black holes are growing uh, faster than we would expect. You know, they're, they're there quicker than we expect, and they, they grow faster than we expect, and we don't know what's going on. Um, and as I said, I have a proposed mechanism to explain this and uh, the Big Bang itself or the alternate version of the Big Bang and how the universe really expanded. I call it the gradual universe. Um, I will release that soon. Don't worry, guys. It's, it's coming soon. Um, it's just uh, I'm lazy. I only have so much time and I do what I can do. What I'm going to explain all of this, it's great, though, that mainstream uh, science has finally at least acknowledged uh, the predictions that I have made um, literally like over a decade ago. You know, I, I've known that black holes create uh, dark energy and dark matter um for for like 10 years at least at least uh if you don't believe me look in the videos and this channel um look back to the older ones back when i first started it um i, I think i did a video it's just on how black dark energy and dark matter is created uh from black holes and that video was like eight years ago so this is this is nothing new to me. This is this is just business as usual. It's it's good. I'm glad that the mainstream science is finally <laughs> beginning to to see where I'm at. At least you know in the clouds, they at least see me there. 
And they're like, wow, you know, that's something crazy going on up there. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I've been up here for years. You guys should come up here and check this out. Just listen to what I say. But nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. Um, here's an email that I sent to uh, the guy that wrote the paper, you know, K. Crocker or whatever. He doesn't care. He never even responded back to me. I'm like, hey, dude, congratulations. Um, I can explain everything, uh, what's going on here. If you just want to spend five minutes to, to read my paper and, I don't know, reach out to me and let me know what you think. He never did. He doesn't care, dude. He doesn't. They, you know, they have these discoveries, but at the end of the day, it's just about justifying their grants and uh, getting their name recognition. They really don't want to uh, uh, have someone come along and tell them how everything works because it, it, they're just not into that. But um, yeah, in general relativity, you know, they got the Lambda constant and uh, that that is what they use uh, to explain, you know, the expansion of the, uh, the universe, dark energy right there, Lambda. Einstein just threw it in there willy nilly because he knew without it, it, it was going to be wrong. Like he just, he just knew there's no way the universe is going to be crunching on itself. It has to at least be static, if not expanding. And so he just created that willy nilly, just so his math would be on, you know, the right side, I guess, of the equation. But um, you know, there's really no rhyme or reason to it, and uh, as you can see, it's a very, very small number. So it it's basically negligible in all the equations except for on a grand scale things. And then you have just enough to make the universe get bigger and bigger. <laughs> um, it is what it is, guys. Um, they they can't explain this. They they never could, and they never will, as long as they believe in general relativity. Um, however, according to, uh, dynamic gravity, as I said, read my paper and you'll understand exactly what's going on here. You know exactly what dark matter is and dark energy and you can calculate it. Um, I highly recommend you do that if you haven't, because that's kind of what this channel is all about. It's just teaching you guys what's going on with gravity. Um, and it's hard because there's a lot of, a lot of, you know, misinformation there's a lot of people that claim they know everything but they don't know anything at all and uh you know they're they're just slowly inching towards uh the truth of this which is uh makes me think that i'll probably never get recognition for this in my lifetime maybe the next lifetime you know they will uh be like yeah this guy had this ideal and as it turned out it was totally right it's like yep too bad I can't enjoy that success now, but it is what it is. So I just want to do a uh, quick little video to let you guys know that, hey, um, <clears throat> this is uh, proof, uh, uh, more proof uh, um, and more evidence that my theory of gravity is right. And uh, this should be at least discussed somehow. It should at least be allowed to be talked about amongst, you know, mainstream science. It should at least, it should at least have that privilege, you know. It should at least be like, hey, whether you like this or believe this or not, it, this is, exists. You should at least know that this exists and what that means. That's all I'm asking. And uh, even that's too much. Um, it's too much. So, uh Good day, I guess, and that now we uh, mainstream science is one step closer to being where I've been for decades now. Uh, bad day and that they still won't listen or talk to me because I'm not in academia. So uh, with that, I bid you, uh, you uh, ladies and gentlemen, adieu and uh, have a good day. Bye. Like, subscribe, submit.